guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today is the day that we have all been waiting for. They spoiled categories one and two completely for the winter FabFitFun box. And now we get to see how accurate my predictions were in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it below. Um, it's the full spoilers of the winter box and based on categories one and two, I'm going to say I'm like 100% accurate on which server they're using. The only issues are there's a few shipping logistics issues. So there's a couple things from category one that are missing and I think one thing from category two that's missing, but otherwise I pretty much spoiled the box for you. So. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would take just a second to do that. And now, let's get into the spoilers. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to remind you of what we were working on for Category 1. This is what I had predicted based on spoilers that I have found. Uh, what I predicted would be Category 1. And now that we've taken a look at that survey again, or that picture again, going to go over each item that they officially spoiled for category one. So the first item in category one is the Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum. This is an $85 value and I will tell you that this is restricted for Canadians so Canadians cannot get this but they do have an option for Canadians and this option for Canadians is the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping night oil. Um, and that's a $55 value, and that item only Canadians can pick. So, I don't think that the A plus is restricted for any other countries. I believe it's only Canadians. So, unless I am mistaken, no matter what country in, you can get a Sunday Riley item. It's just the A plus is not able to be shipped to Canada. So. If you are in Canada, you can choose the Luna sleeping oil. Okay, so the A plus was in that picture, so we did know about that. The second item or items that they have spoiled for category number one are these unhide little marshmallow blankets in charcoal, rose, or silver. So those we I mean we knew about those as well because they had shown us those in their category or theme um, spoilers. So this was already known, but now it's nice to know that it lines up with the survey. Um, I love that charcoal color blanket. I have a medium rose one, which I love, and I also have the silver blanket, which I love. I have two of them, actually, of the silver one. But that charcoal one is definitely going to be mine. That is the color of my couch, so I think it'll be perfect for putting on my couch. Um, so yeah, okay, the third item is right here. This is the Herschel Mica Tote. This retails for $59.99. Um, this is another item that they did spoil in their theme spoilers. Um, so this tote originally, I was like, I don't need another tote. That's an easy pass for me. Now the more that I've seen it and looked on their website, seen some more pictures of it, I kind of want this tote also. So I am almost backpedaling a little bit from... My original stance of, oh, this is going to be a really inexpensive box for me. I'm going to pick one item in each category, and that's actually perfectly fine with me to now I want multiple things in each category, at least the two that have been spoiled. So I might be in trouble, and I don't know if it's just the way that they spoiled it, even though I have, you know, I had the categories in front of me and could look at them. Just seeing them and seeing other pictures of the items makes me want them more. So I might be in trouble with this box. We will see what kind of rational conversations I can have with myself if I can talk myself out of getting some of these things or not. Okay, the next and final item in this category um, is right here. Another one that was spoiled in their themes, the Mark and Graham, Mark and Graham if I can talk, wine opener. This is a $49 value. Um, so it's a basic electric wine opener. I have one. We really don't use it very often because we just use a regular corkscrew and 
my experience with it is if unless you use it all the time or leave it plugged in um when you go to use it the battery's dead so i don't know if this one uses batteries it's a six volt so it plug oh it uses four AA batteries so maybe this one would be better the one that i have you charge it and without fail i won't use it for like six months and then i'll go to use it and it's not charged so for me it's just easier to use like a regular you know the what am I trying to do though? Kind of like twist with your hand. Um, so anyways, it's a fun option. I want other things in this category, so I won't be choosing that, but that is category one. Now I will definitely say this category seems very like small to me. Um, there are two items that were in the survey photo that are not in this category. I'm assuming those two items were shipping issues. It was a robe and a travel blanket. Um, so it's kind of surprising they didn't put something new in this category because they did in category two but i don't know maybe i guess they didn't have any other high value items in the warehouse that they could replace it with so that is our complete um customization one category one spoilers and like i said i'm kind of in trouble i need the charcoal blanket and i do think i want that herschel tote so now we're gonna get into category two. This was the spoiler um, category two survey photo that we were working on in my last video. And so these are all the items featured in that survey. I'm just gonna pull it up here on my phone. There are two items in this survey that are not, oh no wait, there was two items in the first survey. There's one item in category two that is not a customization option. But otherwise, everything is a customization option. So this is kind of exciting. Um, okay, so let's get into the first item right here. The first item that they released today is the Glamnetic Magnetic Eyelashes. Um, and it also comes with a mini magnetic felt tip eyeliner pen. Apparently this retails for $72.98. I'm not into fake eyelashes. I wear glasses, so... The one time I tried to wear fake eyelashes, I felt like all I was doing was knocking the eyelashes on my glasses. Um, so for me, they're just kind of not something I'm interested in. My, but my daughter loves fake eyelashes, so I know she would definitely never pay $72 for a pair of eyelashes. She hasn't tried the magnetic ones, so she may try adding them onto my box. I'm not sure, but if you wanted to try magnetic eyelashes, this might be the way to do it. Okay. The next item in category two is the Glow by Day Pacific Dream Duo set. Um, this is a $40 value. So this is a kind of tempting item to me. Um, it's basically like a bonnet that you wear at night that's supposed to help protect your hair like a silk or satin pillowcase would. I like the concept. I feel like my hair wouldn't need to be washed every day if I wore something like this. I just know myself and I feel like I would rip it off my head in the first five minutes of trying to fall asleep. I just, I don't like extra things on when I'm trying to sleep. So I don't know. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of tempted by it in theory, but I just don't know that I would wear it. But my hair, when I wake up in the morning, my hair is like a frizzy, disgusting mess. So I wash my hair every morning. Um, this might save that for me, but I just don't think I would wear it or it would like, fall off and like roll I'd roll over and it'd go into my husband's face or something I don't know so it's a cool concept I just don't know that I'm gonna pick that here's the next item this is the our place layered lunchbox with clips and utensils this is a $35 value this is a throwback item this has been in the box before I didn't choose it before and I don't think I'm gonna choose it this time there's too many other things that I'm interested in but I have heard if you pack your lunch a lot that this um our place lunchbox is better than the bentigo ones that are in the edit sales a lot people seem to really like this one better it just is higher quality so there you go okay now the item that i'm really excited about sur la table four piece silicone utensil set in red or gray this is a 40 dollar value um for some reason i was thinking this was a five piece set but it really is a four piece set um these look really similar to the ones that I purchased in an edit sale a little while ago from, um, wow, what is the, 
I can't even think, the pans that like everyone was excited about in the fall box, that company had these utensils with blue silicone. I got those and I absolutely love them. They are really sturdy to cook with. The silicone is high quality. These look exactly like that. Like I was gonna, before I filmed, pull out my utensil set and compare it. Um, although now I'm wondering if maybe mine's only a three piece set that I got. Maybe that's why I thought this was four or why I thought this was five, because I was thinking that it was a bigger set than what I purchased. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure. But I definitely love this gray utensil set, and I'm pretty positive this is going to be in my box. Although I want a couple more things in category two, so I've got to have some conversations with myself. Okay, here's an item that was not really spoiled. It wasn't in one of the categories. It was in the survey photo. But people were really hoping this was going to be in there, and I'm happy to tell you that it is. The Lily Pulitzer Ceramic Mug Set of Two, $42 value. This is the same pattern that was in a box previously. I know there are some spoilers that had gone around with a different pattern, but this is the one that we've seen before. But I know a lot of you got them in a box before and loved them and wanted two more to make a complete set. So that is exciting if that's something that you were looking for. Here is the next item. This is the Soya and Kayo woven scarf again with fringe. This is an $85 value. <clears throat> um, I have this. I got this in my box the last time that it was um, offered. And I've got to be honest, I did use it when it first came. Um, now, I granted, I used it last winter. It's not been warm or it's not been cold, so I haven't needed it. But I did use it like at my desk. I would throw it over my shoulders and then when I wasn't using it I would throw it over the back of my chair. I honestly don't know where it is currently so I don't know if that tells you anything. I haven't used it for a long time but like I said it hasn't been cold enough to need it. Um, it is a pretty color and it's kind of nice you can throw it over yourself and it's not really like a blanket but it keeps you warm like a blanket so I don't know if that helps but that's kind of my opinion. It was fun when I first got it. I'll probably look for it this winter, but honestly, I might just take my unhide blanket over to my desk instead. So <laughs> we'll see. Okay, the next item in category two is the Bright Angle Elixir Olive Oil Bottle in white. And this is a $56 value. This is one that originally I wasn't excited about, but it looks like it would look really nice on the counter or on the stove. I like that it's white and it has a little bit of dimension to it. So I don't know. And you can also, um, if you don't want an olive oil bowl, you can use it for vinegar, not bowl, bottle, for vinegar, for dish soap, you know, any kind of liquid item. Um, I don't know. Okay, it does include an oil stopper. Because I was going to say, I wouldn't want it open. That would be kind of unsanitary. But I don't know. I normally, I have a nice glass oil olive oil bottle that I've just been refilling with like the cheap plastic bottles that I get from Aldi. But this might be a fun alternative. We'll just have to see how expensive my box becomes. And I will determine if I'm getting that or not. Okay, now the last item and maybe the most exciting item in category two is this item right here. One that was not on any survey. And I'm guessing they randomly got it in. Maybe it was supposed to be in an edit sale. And they decided to include it in this category. It is the Short Stories Black and White Bowl Set with a $39 value. Those bowls just look super cute. Um, they're not huge. The biggest one has a five inch diameter and three inch height. The medium one is 4.25 inches in diameter and two and a half inches high. And the small is 3.7 inches in diameter and 2.25 inches in height. I don't know. I just think those are super cute. I'm a sucker for dishes. Like, if you looked in my kitchen cupboards, you'd be like, wow, Lori, you don't need any bowls or dishes, but I kind of feel like I need these. So, this is the one item in both of the, either of these categories that was not in that spoiler survey that I showed you guys last time. And in category one, we're missing two items, but they didn't replace it with anything. And in category two, we're missing one item. It was a candle set. Um, let me see. It was a set of three votive candles. That did not come in, so that is not in category two, but they replaced that with this bowl set. 
So that is our confirmed categories one and categories two for the fall winter 2021 box. Let me know down below. What do you think of these spoilers? Does it help to see the items in categories? Because I know for a lot of people, they were getting really frustrated when they'd release these, you know, topical, what do they, themes of different spoilers and they were all over the place and it didn't even make sense. I really like to see these spoilers by category, which is why I do these videos for you guys because I know I like to see it that way, so I figure you do as well. But I think I'm in trouble with this box because I want two things in category one and there's three things that I wouldn't mind having in category two. Um, in the fall, I got a second box and I was like nervous the whole time that the things I wanted were going to sell out. And then I was wishing I just gotten added things on with my annual box. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how responsible I decide to be or if I just get a second box. We will see. Um, so they're supposed to be releasing categories three and four tomorrow. So, you know, I will be giving you guys those spoilers as soon as they do. If you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can see the new spoilers as soon as they come out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.